On January 24th, 2024, Royal Caribbean's brand new and one-of-a-kind cruise ship, Icon of the Seas, will set sail with nearly 10,000 passengers on it. It will be the first of its class and the world's largest, most advanced, and fun cruise ship ever built. The new vessel is colossal in every way. Environmentally friendly in comparison to other modern cruise ships, the first to ever be powered by liquid natural gas makes its own fresh water via a desalination plant, can connect to green shore power connections and recover all waste heat, and also features advanced air lubrication of underwater hull to reduce friction. Entertainment-wise, the vessel can be described as a massive, floating, comprehensive leisure and entertainment center that aims to provide unique and new immersive experiences not found on any other cruise ship. It is such an amazing ship, it has 20 decks with 7 swimming pools and 6 record-breaking water slides and is said to feature the tallest waterfall, the tallest water slide, the largest water park, and the first suspended infinity pool of any ship. It is also a new design and thus the first of a new class, so it was not easy to build and is by all means a modern engineering wonder. What is the Icon of the Seas? How was it designed and built? What are the breakthrough technologies that make it the future of the cruise ship industry and what are its features? Icon of the Seas is described as a white paper ship, meaning it is based on a design that began with a blank piece of paper, with no boundaries to the ideation. Everything about it is unique, modern, advanced, and designed with both people and the environment in mind. Interestingly, its most notable feature, the massive 363-ton Aquadome, was first drawn on a white napkin by former Royal Caribbean's chairman, Richard Fain. This drawing represented the concept that was used by Jay Rosser, senior product owner and product development at Royal Caribbean. He literally joked in an interview about how he took that drawing on the napkin to the shipyard and told them, build me this. The result was a modern, truly unique, 365 meter long, 250,800 ton icon of the seas by the shipbuilder Meyer Turku of Finland. And it is officially the current largest cruise ship in the world. It made its maiden voyage in June 2023, which proved to be a success, and now it is prepared to set sail with 7,600 guests and 2,350 crew on January 24th, 2024, from Port Miami in the US. Construction of the ship began in October 2016, which is the first of two, with the second set to be delivered in 2025. Steel cutting began in June 2021, in October 2021, Royal Caribbean announced that the first of two liquid natural gas LNG tanks for the ship was installed at the Nepton Werft in Rostock, Germany. In December 2021, the huge floating engine room unit, including the LNG tanks, was towed to Turku in Finland by tugboats. The keel was laid in April 2022, and finally, in May 2022, Royal Caribbean confirmed that the new vessel would be bigger than the famous record holder Oasis class. On June 19, 2023, Icon of the Seas sailed for the first of her sea trials and everything went perfectly. She returned to the Turku shipyard three days later for adjustments to her systems and for the final interior touch-ups to be applied and spaces to be completed and furnished. Now let's take a look at the design and features of this amazing ocean-roaming entertainment city. Icon of the Seas has six multi-fuel Wurzela engines generating 67,500 kilowatts, which is equivalent to 90,520 horsepower. The engines are powered by liquefied natural gas and can also run on regular diesel for redundancy. The ship contains other alternative energy features like the use of hydrogen fuel cells to produce electricity, which is used in a desalination plant for supplying the entire ship 
with clean, fresh water, making it the first vessel to use such technology. The ship will have a crew of 2,350 and a capacity of 7,600 passengers at maximum capacity. This makes it a floating small city with a population of 10,000 people, which is quite an achievement. One of its main notable features is the Aqua Dome, which created a lot of buzz. The Aqua Dome is a futuristic domed entertainment venue towards the bow of the ship. It includes a 17-meter shape-shifting waterfall above a pool where Royal Caribbean's high-diving athletes and stunt artists perform alongside robotic arms and fountains. This dome is the largest structure of glass and steel ever lifted onto a cruise ship. The construction and placement of this ultra-heavy dome was a feat of engineering in itself that took months to develop and build. The giant dome structure also includes the water system that would be used during performances. Once built, engineers had to install it on the ship without negatively impacting the ship's stability. To make the transfer, the building team installed a 154-ton crane that features something called a spreader that is attached to the crane by 12 cables and boasts 54 cables that were attached to the aquadome. It took more than 12 hours just to lift the dome and lower it in place with laser precision. Northern Europe's largest gantry crane, nicknamed Baby, at the Meyer Turku shipyard was also used to lift numerous ultra-heavy parts, including a 60-meter wide, single, nine-deck block of cabins that weighed 900 tons. Some people say that it was the largest ever lifted in Europe. To avoid errors and destabilization mistakes, engineers had to calculate exactly how the ultra-heavy dome steel structure would flex as it was lifted and lowered in position. This strategy of building truly massive cross-sections and putting them together is by itself an engineering marvel and contributes to cost cuts and faster construction to avoid delays and budget overruns. In total, Icon of the Seas consisted of 201 giant blocks with roughly one installed a day. Each block required about 100 meters of welding once in place. More than 3,000 workers, engineers, and managers representing various contractors worked together in a harmonious, ultra-efficient manner to make this marvelous $2 billion ship become a reality. The Aqua Dome is of great importance because Aqua Shows are one of Royal Caribbean's most successful entertainment programs, but historically they are held outside and thus are affected by the weather and other factors. However, on the Icon, Aqua Shows can be held anytime regardless of the weather conditions, all thanks to the shelter of the Aqua Dome. The theater below the dome also features some 4D effects, such as smoke effects, wind, scent, and lightning, which enhances the guest's experience. The Aqua Dome is also just one of five new neighborhoods that have been designed specifically for this class of ship. The other three familiar ones remain Royal Promenade with 15 restaurants, Central Park, a livelier version will hit Icon, and Sweet Neighborhood, its largest iteration so far. The new four are Thrill Island, Chill Island, Surfside, and The Hideaway. These different zones are strategically designed to make the needs of parents, babies, toddlers, teens, and seniors all in one destination. Passengers will also be able to use the Royal app to optimize their time on board. Icon of the Seas will also be the first ship in the Royal Caribbean fleet to be powered by liquefied natural gas which is cleaner than diesel and other fossil fuels. In fact, this ship represents a major milestone in the company's journey to building a carbon neutral ship by 2035. The company says that the energy produced out of LNG has higher energy density, while the fuel itself is less carbon dense and more energy efficient, which compensates for the volume issues. According to experts, future cruise ships will be propelled by engines that are powered by green hydrogen, while the ship's electricity will be generated from green hydrogen fuel cells. And people can even expect electric cruise ships that are entirely powered by electric engines via hydrogen fuel cells. 
What do you think of this majestic new cruise ship that is family friendly and can accommodate such a massive number of passengers? Would you go on it for a vacation? Let us know in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon.